short review on the Spectrum DX6i and some of the programs I use on some of my planes and helicopters within the radio. Before the DX6i, I was using a DX4E, which is your basic safe technology radio, which would come with the uh, Hobby Zone Delta Ray, for instance. So you've got your panic button at the top there, your channel 5, which is uh, beginner, intermediate, and advanced mode on the safe aircraft, but can also be used as flaps on a fifth channel on a plane. You've obviously got your high and low rates, which is there, and you've got your manual manual trims which I'll try and show you there as in you just do that to adjust the trim whereas on the DX6i it's more of a click one way or the other which I find is more efficient and down at the bottom on the DX4e you've got your server reversing and your mix and all of that sort of stuff whereas on the DX6i it's all done electronically within the uh, computer screen on the radio. Have a look at some of these switches on top of the DX6i You've got your elevator dual rates, 0 and 1. You've got aileron dual rates. And at the top there, you've got rudder dual rates, which should be on 0, but there you go. Um, so you've got three different dual rate systems as opposed to one high and low rates, which is on the DX4. So that's an obvious advantage. Um, on the DX6i. In a closer look at the screen on the DX6i, you've got your on button, and currently it's bound to my Nano QX, which is there. Um, I have bound it to other models. I've got five models currently on there, but we can go into the setup for the Nano QX, so I can show you that now. Click the wheel there. Um, you have the options and stuff like that. So if we go down to setup list model type, always choose Acro for quadcopters, it may sound against what you would want to choose but it gives a lot more diversity on the controls so go back to list, make sure you choose Acro um, if we go down to model name you can name it like that um, all these will be uh, just stock so you don't need to worry about them if we go down back to adjust list go down to Dual rates and expo. No, maybe not. Just leave them all on 100%. Uh, if we go down to flaps, put your normal flaps on minus 20 and leave all the others at zero. Uh, and that means when you flip your flap gyro uh, switch, it turn into uh, agility mode, and you can toggle between stability and agility uh, with your flap switch. So that's that. All the others down here are exactly the same as they are when you get out of the box. So if we go back to the top and go on to main, um, so it should be should be set up there, uh, and then obviously bind it to your quad, and that's Once that. You've plugged it in, place it on a flat surface. Should start a blinking LED. Hold down your trainer switch and turn on should say bind, wait for a few seconds, let go and this should turn to a solid blue light and as you can see now it's all bound. So the reason we set minus 20 flaps is when I pull the flap switch down it goes into agility mode and to get it out flick it up and down and it goes back into stability mode and then you can flick it back up again uh, so I'll repeat that to go into agility mode flick down then to get back into stability mode flick flick and then you can just return it to neutral so there we go that's uh, the setup for the Nano QX through the DX6i So that was a short review on the Spectrum DX6i and set up with the Blade Nano QX. I'll be doing an uh, outdoor flight of this quad some point in the next few weeks. So look out for that video and thanks for watching.